All right, let's go. Have fun. All right, Jake, how were you introduced to cross country running? Uh, my freshman year, I was taking personal fitness and LMS over the summer, and uh, Coach Means just came into there and he asked the uh, personal fitness teacher whether or not anyone wanted to run cross country. I raised my hand because I was doing well in the mile during that, and so I guess I just fell in love with the sport. For example, there's huge crowds during our football season for our yeah. review rounds. Yeah. While you're running, do you feel any like hard to heart emotions with, like if people are watching you or just the other runners like criticizing you or something? Uh, the thing about cross country is, I mean, you're not constantly in front of the fans. I mean, for part of it, like at the start you go and then you go out into the woods and you do a couple of loops in the woods when no one's around. And I mean, that's what I like about cross country because even if no one's watching, you still have to be doing your absolute best the whole time. When you come near the finish line and you hear the screams of the fans, it helps you even though you're dead tired. It helps you get that adrenaline whenever you actually are around the fans. Could you describe to us, Jake, the uh, how you run your race? Uh, what I like to do is I like to be able to go out at a pace. I mean, what a lot of kids do, they go out, they hear the gun, the fans are all there and just amped up, and they go and they sprint out for 800 meters. But then once everyone else, they start to cut, start to fall back. And early in my career, I just like to hit a certain pace that my coaches told me, and then I do that, and I'd be kind of towards the back of the pack. But the cool thing was I just progressed everyone would be dying because they all went out way too hard at the start, so it would be fun to pick them off one by one. But now that I'm, now that I'm up in the upper tier, I, I, yeah, I am looking at people to go with this year and just try to hang around them and hopefully have them drag me to a fast time. How do you feel when you're the first person across that finish line and the crowd's cheering? It's, an, it's actually a very weird experience. I mean, you expect it to be awesome and you expect it to be just so thrilling and that you you just are so happy that you did it but I mean the only race I've run on the one on the varsity high school level I mean I've run a few road races and a few JV races but the only race I've won during varsity is the uh, 3200 meter at the Ram invite last year and I had to chase down a kid at the end and I crossed the finish line in front of him and it was pretty close I mean I was just happy that it was over and happy that I came in first I mean it didn't really sink in until about the next day. Jake gets fired up for his meets by listening to some reggae music by Bob Marley. His favorite song is Jammin', and this helps him keep a steady pace throughout the race. Jake hopes to continue his career in cross country by running for his college team. How long have you been coaching Jake? Uh, Jake's a senior this year, and he came out as a freshman and uh, ran with us you know, beginning with his uh -huh. freshman year. Are there any special talents that you saw in Jake that made him stick out of the crowd? Uh, definitely. I mean, he's, he's built like a runner, and he was, uh, you know, uh, in fact, I saw a little bit of myself when I saw Jake when he was a freshman, you know, a little kind of scared, a little skinny, and, uh, I mean, the kind of guy that, uh, you know, may, I thought needed something like this, and uh, it turns out he had a lot of talent as well. So. All right, Coach, you've been coaching eight year, 18 years now at Review. Are there any certain qualities that Jake has that makes him stand out from the crowd? Um, well, I think he's an intelligent runner, you know, and that's very important. He's really thoughtful. I, uh, we had a uh, time trial last week, or excuse me, this past Saturday, and he ran a race, a uh, road race, a few weeks before that. And after both of those races, he said, well, I did this wrong, and I did this wrong. And that's, that's really important to be, you know, because every race you run, I mean, it's a long time. Five kilometers, three miles is a long time. And it's real easy to make mistakes in a race. And every time he runs a race, he learns, and he runs, runs a smarter race the next time he runs. And, you know, that's an important quality as a distance runner. If you're out there a long time, you can talk yourself out of it or think the wrong thing or make a poor decision. And uh, Jake's always done, always made great decisions, you know, as far as training and racing both.